Welcome, my dear viewers, to my very first ever Idol Showdown event I'm showing off on this channel, and the first one I entered. So you actually see my hour one Pekora Usada against one of Europe's best EX Slide. Uh, he is one of the best Corona players in Europe. And from what I get, Corona is somewhat of uh, the Shoto of this game. And Pekora, the character I'm playing, the funny bunny girl, is having um, is actually pretty close to that as well. So she has good buttons and uh, good Oki setup. And that's what uh, gameplay is all about. But again, I just started this game, so uh, of course I'm more blocking here than doing anything useful. I don't have any combos at this point in time. Uh, I watched a combo video that, wa that didn't showcase very good combos, so what I have is pretty bad. But it's it's enough to play. And uh, yeah, again. I entered this a little bit on a whim, but I was enjoying it a lot. So let's see how all of this plays out. No surprise here, I get uh, completely smacked the first game and in both rounds actually. And in the second game, let's see if I do some ad adaptations. Like, I don't do terribly right, so I still get a few hits in, play a little bit of neutral. See, uh, but uh, yeah, obviously uh, EX Slide has the big boy combos down and I don't have any of those. I actually find the uh, uh, sound effects very funny. Like she's doing the Benji Kazoo. E oh, e oh. <laughs> uh, that's what Corona is doing. And I like the animations of this game as well. There are some that are a little bit jank, like uh, Picura's 2A. But for the most part they are funny and expressive and all in all it's what you can say about this game. Sure, it's uh, it's a free game if you're interested. So yeah, it's not as polished as anything that Access to Works or any of those companies would put out, but it's a very enjoyable game. And, and yeah, I lose the first round as well. Yeah, here I had the right idea. Because at that range, I can only go into rocket launch, I'm not the, uh, um, yeah, the box flurry. Actually, pretty strong instant overhead from Corona, as it seems. So, Corona definitely has the source in this game. I think she's even considered top tier. And yeah, the Acorn super, not super assist, definitely helps. Uh, String her together even more scary pressure. But again, I'm proud of my one hour Pikora because I didn't uh, lose as hard as I should have. And next up, I'm against Opportunist, a Botan player. Again, this bracket was very, very small in size. And um, as such, most matches were on stream. This would have been on stream as well, but uh, yeah. There were some issues and so this was lost to the stream and they just had to commentate without commentating, without happen without knowing what happened in the game. And yeah, you get the whole full story exclusively on here. Isn't that nice? But yeah, uh, as for the matchup, so as you see Botan has all those guns and grenades, so this, she's a local zoner. And yeah, as I said, Pekora is more of a well-rounded character with some uh, trapping game, with some OP and stuff. And all in all, good long, good mid-range buttons, but not exceeding too much in uh, close or uh, or long range. Okay. To see, uh, Opportunist also got some combos, at least way better ones than I have at this point in time. Again, afterwards I lapped the co uh, proper combos, because I had fun in this game and I wanted to do better than I did. Yeah, at this point, again, couldn't go for the flurry, but ha would, would have needed to use the rocket launcher.
I didn't punish, I should have used 5A probably or 2A. And Opportunist takes the first game. Okay, they get a hit in and a good combo, but yeah, they drop it now, but still I'm in the blender again. I get a good hit myself. And yeah, I could have probably punished that. But again, I had no... That was literally my second match in this game. I haven't pl uh, fought against the AI, I have only been in training mode. So, uh, no, it's been my third game, but it's my second set. With that, I'm... Uh, I dropped another round. But maybe I can still make something happen. Like a round at least. <laughs> I don't really remember that well myself. Because there's quite some time in between uh, uh, playing the set and recording the audio for it, the commentary. Okay, beam assist doing God's work here. I only have one meter, so I can't do go for another beam assist. Yeah. I dropped the combo again here. The small combo that I had, not the real BND. But to be honest, it's not the small combo is not that far away from the BND that I would have had. No, okay, help me! Yes, yeah, good burst. And I get the round! Wow, I called it. People I called it, I swear I didn't know what happened. Like yeah, I set up the scoreboard and anything. But uh, I even forget to include that in the scoreboard in the, this initial revision, so I need to, uh, yeah, make that right as well. No, not really, because rounds are not in the scoreboard. I forgot. <laughs> also, I think the uh, soundtrack for this game slaps. Pretty good one. Boom, boom, cha. <laughs> Actually, that's something that I really enjoy about the Kova is the stagger pressure with 5A because you get the boom boom cha sounds. It's cute and funny. Yeah, I can't zone the zona, unfortunately. But yeah, Bhutan, of course, not only having zoning tools. Okay, get the beam assist. I don't really know what the, that shield assist does, but uh, yeah, we won't find out <laughs> as they beat me. So that was my run at the Hollow Knight 4 side event, Idle Showdown. I hope you turn up as well. There are not that many Idle Showdown events in Europe and you will find it in the official Idle Showdown Discord. So thank you very much for watching. Catch you later. Until then, bye bye.